Okay, this is a Briggs & Stratton 8-horse motor sitting on its side because uh, I've been working on the governor, which didn't seem to have a problem at all. <coughs> Actually, it might have because now it's working differently. Okay, if you have one of these with a centrifugal governor, with this, it has this lever behind the carburetor. This is the way it works. Okay, all this, turning it counterclockwise, from there to here, is all nothing. It won't work there. You can't work in that range. And because this thing's sitting on the side, gravity's pulling it down this way. The governor is on this side of the case. And when it flies up, there's two weights to fly out like this. And when it does, there's a pin that pushes out. This thing has a paddle that comes down. And when it goes down like this, it pushes in on that pin. Right now, that pin is pushing this from right there to there. Push it all the way clockwise, set the throttle to wide open, then it should be closed before it gets to this point. Now if you want to verify any problems, it spins around. On this side of the engine, this is like a float for the oil level. That'll short the ignition out if it runs out of oil. I think this, it looks like this whole thing will pull out. You take these two bolts out, you can pull the whole sucker out and inspect when may a light inside there and see what kind of action you got. Just my guess. If you can get like a boroscope in through the oil filler hole, you may be able to see something. I had to pull the uh, rotor off of this. This is a tapered shaft. And if you look, there's not even a, uh, a key on it. Almost destroyed that rotor pulling it off. There we go. That's the rotor. Okay. That big bolt holds the rotor on, but I guess after a while of running, you don't want to you don't want to oil this. This bolt hole right here holds the bottom of this carburetor setup. This is the inside. This is the side you can't see, but the motor mount that holds this whole thing is in the way of this bolt. This has got to go on before. Okay, what I'm showing you here is this. Uh, this is the governor's shaft. I think I have this upside down, but. When I was looking at this the last time, this is the only way it fit without interfering with anything. I don't know what all these cutouts here are for. From my see, there is no hole up here other than the hole where the whole shaft goes through. So I use that for the spring. Just as long as it stays uh, lash free. This sucker was broken too, by the way. And I stretched it a little bit so it's not too tight. And Put it back together. Okay, folks, I turned this thing back around again. Looking at the way it lines up, now that the motor's off, I can get and see everything. This must go this way, and that's the clearance for the spring. I put this, the little tiny spring here. I put it back right there. And see, it looks more like it's made like that. We'll see what happens. The way you want to set that up, this shaft, let me see if I can set this up and do this all one hand again. See this? Okay. That is my governor shaft. This is, you're looking at this sideways, okay? You know, this is open all the way. This is open all the way. This isn't closed. Pulling this throttle back this way is open. That This is completely into the governor. Because the spring pulls all this stuff down. So yes, you want to turn this. By the way, everything looks like lined up and this this here arm is almost all the way back on the shaft. Pull it down, pull it back that way. So I'm pulling down on the shaft. I've turned that screw clockwise. And I'm tightening the nut if I can do all this at the same time. Now see it looks and that thing's hitting that thing. Look at this. What's not? Why isn't this right? Right here. Maybe this whole thing is. Yeah, it is twisted, bent this way, isn't it? This has got to be pulled out. See how this this piece is pushed in? It's hitting the shaft right here. That's why I turned it around before, because then this thing would hit. Now would that be something not lined up if I pulled that out? Yeah, this whole, you can see how things whole, should be more like that, huh? I gotta pull this out. This is, this is not right. This is all bent up. I think it should be like that. It'll make room right there. 
Maybe I'll just about like that, I guess. I'll have to do some bending. I think this is the way it's supposed to go. And I'll just take this whole plate off and try to straighten it up. Something's not right. Okay, I just made a bend on this, and I was surprised how easy it bent, but look at this now. This looks so much flatter. You know, light surface on it looks good. I mean, it's getting dark out here now, but I just don't know about how that's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be something like that. We'll see how everything uh, lines up, but I think... I think that looks better like that, don't you think? It looks pretty flat. Okay, that must have been it, because I, I, I put the bolt in here. Now that thing looks perfectly flat there on the bottom. I guess the hole's right there, right? It's pretty lined up. That's my makeshift screw that was in there. And look how much clearance there is. There's no, there's no interference between this and here at all. And it's already hooked up, and it looks like everything's working. This is pulled back, throttle open, right? And this is pushing the throttle closed. I think this is fine. It's very, very smooth. It's very smooth action. Okay. That up a spot. Okay, it's loose. Push it in. Pull it clockwise. So the throttle is pulled open. Try and get the sucker in there. Turn it clockwise, and it wasn't. See it? That, that thing loosened up all by itself. And then tighten it up again. Again, it's not touching. Okay, here's the orientation of the thing when it's going to be installed. The screw should look pretty much at that kind of an angle. Let me just zoom in a little closer. Governor shaft. The arm it's on it. I know the technical names of it all. This is my uh, idle adjustment. Oh, it's not idle. It's that's your run governor speed. You'd adjust that for 60 hertz out of the generator or 61 under no load, I guess. 